Hi, welcome to the elective course, IDX Interaction Design. My name is Henrik, and this course is the single most important course to choose if you want to be able to develop something people want. Here you can see the topics we cover in the course. We create personas, gather data using surveys and interviews. We investigate cognition and social interaction. We design emotionally and try it out by making low fidelity prototypes that we test on real people. Traditionally, when we develop software, we focus on human computer interaction. But in this course, we dig deeper into the area between humans and interaction. This area is often called UX or user experience. As you can see, we are far away from computers and instead we deal with people or whoever is actually using the system and we focus on the interaction. So now we try to figure out what people really want. As an example, here you see two lemon squeezers, one expensive and one cheap. Maybe you can tell which is which. Yes, you're right. The expensive one is a shiny metal one, looking like something in between of a tall spider and a spacecraft. On the other hand, I found it in a test together with a plastic one, and you can probably as well guess which one the test and which that lost. Yes, you're right again. The plastic lemon squeezer separates the kernels from the juice nicely, without spilling, and afterwards it was easy to clean completely opposite from the expensive one. On top, the expensive one even got ruined by the lemon acid if it was used too much. But why is it then many times more expensive then? Well, it's nice. It looks nice, it feels nice, and even better, when you have it, you're nice. So now we're getting closer to what this is all about. Niceness. It's not just about creating functionality in software. This example proves it has many times more value to make the user feel nice. That's the kind of software we want to make. To do that, we need to understand the user service system and what they really want. We need as well to make prototypes, test these so we can see how the users react. In this course, I do not expect you to write a single line of code. Actually, if you do, you spend too much time on something you might not want. But when you have made the code, you don't want to change it, even if you know something else would have been better. So forget about programming. Spend some time developing the right thing in the right way. And when you're done with that, then you might want to program it in your bachelor thesis you'll get plenty of opportunities to work on the interaction of your ideas. Here's an example of a course assignment previously made in this course. We see a group of children play an educational game. In the middle, you see an iPad, which holds the overview of the game. And on each iPhone, each child holds their part of the game. You probably noticed it's not really iPhones or iPad. The game is played on devices made of the wonderful material called foam board. It is awesome to use when you want to have a prototype fast, so you can get fast feedback. So you can do it all over again without wasting too much of your precious time. You can see in this video, the game can be played before a single line of code is written. Thank you for watching this video. And hopefully, you got inspired enough to sign up for the chance to learn how to create the right software for real users. My name is Henrik, and the elective course you should choose is called IDX.